Here is an add-on Pluto with the MySDR firmware connected to an Android phone running a web browser. The waterfall shows 60 MHz of spectrum. We can zoom in, pan around and change our receive frequency. To zoom in, we pinch with two fingers. We can pan with a single finger. To zoom out, we pinch out. If we pan farther than the screen edge, we change our receive frequency. This is an effective way to change the frequency quickly. Here we go 100 MHz up in frequency. And we zoom on these interesting signals. We can change the color map of the waterfall and adjust the minimum and maximum levels. We can select the sampling frequency and the receive bandwidth of the Pluto. There are different AGC modes we can use, such as manual, in which we can enter or receive gain, or slow attack, in which the gain is adjusted automatically. We can change the speed at which the waterfall runs with the spectrum rate parameter. A spectrum rate of 20 Hz will make the waterfall run slower. And a rate of 100 Hz will make the waterfall run pretty fast. The maximum sample rate supported by the Pluto is 61.44 mega samples per second and the maximum bandwidth is 56 MHz. We can record IQ data at these rates. It is possible to select between 12-bit and 8-bit sampling. This records to the Pluto DDR, so there is a size limit of 400 MB. Now that the recording has finished, we can enter a file name and some metadata. When we press download recording, we get the recording file in CGMF format straight into our phone. The recording is being downloaded at a rate of 17.5 megabytes per second and this interferes a little bit with the operation of the waterfall. And now we wait for 30 seconds. And here is our file. Now let's do a recording in 8-bit mode. Using 8-bit sampling we can make better use of the 400 megabyte limit. We can enter metadata beforehand or after the recording is done. We press record and the recording is finished. Remember that the recording must be downloaded manually.